Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Gelderland. Steering and getting that lined up right because of the way that the tail of the machine swings around. So that's also a little bit of, a, of a, a tricky thing for me to master. I'm getting there. I am able to do it a bit. But it doesn't help that the side bar sticks out the opposite side to what I'm used to driving. I normally drive this way. That's how I normally do any operations, is I'm, I drive that way round. Let's spin you round a bit, and we'll go this way round the field. So the tractor's on the outside. It's still not going to make any difference to the way I normally control it. So like I said, I'm just going to do one row and then I'm going to take it in. We'll tip it out in the clamp. We'll see if the Flintstones vehicle is able to actually do anything with that. And then I want to sell this one back to the shop and I want to buy myself a different machine. Right, there we go. That's all done there now. It is actually still picking up silage. So you do also have that as well. Um, uh, so we want to take the org in and then we can fold it up like that. Right. So it's a nice machine. I like I like the, the theory of it. I, I, I really do. And I, I think it's great, but it's not something that I want to keep. So now we need to tip this lot out. Let's see what the Nice. Right, I like the I like the trailer animation. I like the tipping and the the way that the back door is lifted up. That's nice and realistic on that. Done that many 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 times, and then a few times after that as well. Right, that's now done. So we've got fifty thousand liters in there, and it's a little bit tight around this yard. I think we may end up making some adjustments. One thing I would like is a wardrobe. I wonder if I can do that. I want to be able to change my wardrobe occasionally. Uh, hmm, farmhouses. Millionaire house. Can you hear that? Oh! There's music in the... I need, I need this in my life! And apparently I can put down, because you're only supposed to be able to put down one farmhouse. And I thought that we already had the farmhouse, which was that one. But apparently I can put down another one. Because this has also got like a barn at the back. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But I want the millionaire farmhouse. That's the one that I want. Right. Um, how are we going to do this? I'll tell you what, I'm just going to sell this one straight back to the shop right now. So if I go in here and then I go to that one, we want the forage harvester header there. Sell that one for 35000 Okay. And then the trailer as well. That one is another 43000 So I can sell that one. Right. Yes. And done. Okay. The tractor is going to wait here. I'm going to get another forage wagon. Now, one thing that I don't have on this map is a self-propelled forage wagon, which is actually something that I would really like. I would very, very much like to get a self-propelled forage wagon, but we don't have one at the moment. Let's just shut you off a minute there, and then I want to go... Do... Aha. We're just going to find out if we can roll the silage clamp using the Flintstones vehicle. So let's bring you on round here. I love the steering wheel on it as well. That is fantastic. Go, go. Oh, yes. Go on, you can do it. Pop those crazy legs. And I'm stuck. <laughs> it works, though. It actually, look, we, we, are, we can, in theory, compact this. I mean, I think it's going to take rather a long time to do it. Because I'm hopelessly stuck. Nope. Nope. We, we, there we go. Right. Uh. How am I going to be able to do this? Ooh, just go along the side and then get wedged. I'm... Yeah. All right. Stuck, apparently. Let's jump off and we'll, we'll have to try it. We'll have to try it from this. So I'm going to have to lift you off. 
I think we need a bigger silage clamp. That's what we're going to need. Right, let's, let's, let's do this again. We can go forward onto this. This is not going to work very well, is it? Let's be honest. I mean, I, I really love the theory of this, but it just... Yeah, it, it, do, it, it, it doesn't seem entirely practical. I'm still only compacted 1% as well, which is a little bit concerning. Because it suggests that this could take a lot longer than I want it to. Unless there's something wrong with the mod or something like that. Um, yeah, I, I don't think this is going to work very well. So you can just go and wait over there a minute. And then if we jump into this one. And I just want to see if the, the silage clamp is bugged or something. Because I'm sure that we should have gone more than 1% on there. But it might just be that the... Flintstones vehicle is a little bit too light so that might just have to be a, like a pleasure vehicle for driving around in something like that the way to find out with this is just to drive over it with a big heavy tractor and that's still oh there we go now it's compacting right that's that's okay I mean the fact that the silage clamp is rather small here is is, is probably not helping things we're going to need to get something different to do this with this, this is this is really not going to work. Nope. This this is this is really not going to work very well. Okay. Uh, while you wait there, I do need to get this one to the shop because I need to. Uh, it was. There we go. I need to go and get the new forage wagon. We want a different forage wagon. I've got an idea for the one that we're going to use. And it's a very nice one. I haven't actually made any modifications to this. And I probably should. Or, you know, maybe we'll get, try a different truck. But I, I really like the look of this truck on it at the moment. I think it looks really cool. So let's bring you back around here. And I was thinking for now, we'll just go with the same forage wagon that we used in the last series. Because that one's proved itself. That one has proved itself to be a reliable workhorse. And it does does the work that we need it to do. So I figure if we go for that one. We have that one here. We, we can do our work with it. And then we can um, worry about getting other things a bit later on. Let's go whizzing up through here. I'm pretty sure I just knocked down a road sign just then. But that's, that's, that's fine. We'll, we'll ignore that. Now, I was also wondering about the animals. So, I, I'm going to do pigs. I said I'll do pigs. And that's that's definitely on the to-do list. Uh, also, I'd like to do some cows because we need to make cheese. And there's a few different cheeses that we can make. There's the, the, the grass cast cheese, which I think sounds really cool. It's basically, it's only made, like, I think, I don't know if I said or not. Um, it's made, like, first thing in the spring the first cheese it's made but we want cheese that we can make all year round so i was thinking something like um leodama or edam something like that uh, a nice soft cheese um well not not like super soft cheese but like a uh, anyway a, a, a nice cheese i I, re I really like um very mild cheese like that anyway and I, I'm, I'm quite a fan of that so that's what i would like now if i bring you in around here so far, so good. We've not had any major mishaps. What we're going to need, though, is we're going to need a shunting vehicle here at the yard. And we've just gone past 2 o'clock, which means that we've had a little bit more money come in from the government. Because the government are very generous like that. They're looking after us, which is which is nice. So that's nice of them. I appreciate that. So I'm just going to bring that one down to there. And then we're going to lower down the back and then what we need is a shunting vehicle in the yard here to do some work with so we need something that we can just move the other vehicles around with hmm. now naturally my first instinct is to have something like one of these and use that to shunt things around the yard. But we all know that that's simply just not going to work. So I, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go with something a little bit different. We, we won't go with one of the really small ones. We'll need something a bit bigger because we're, we're using the bigger machinery. So we want something that is going to be able to be up for the task. 
the K700. This is one that we haven't used in quite some time. This was, I believe, part of the base game, wasn't it? In FS17. And then it disappeared. It didn't quite look like this, but we've, we've got a number of different options here. So let's have a look. We've got 220 that goes to 40, 265, 290. So it goes up to 290 on there. We've got some wheels, hubcaps, weights. This is wheel setup. All kinds of wheel weights on here. Front twins, full twins, and standard. We're going for the twin wheels. Hood trim. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. We're going to have an exposed engine there. We want to be able to see this Russian masterpiece in all its glory. External decal. Okay. I, uh, right door number two. Is that right door number one? Oh, I see. Right, yeah. Uh, number three, four, five, six. I don't really want numbers on here. And it's left. Oh, I see. Right. So then you can have the grain on the side. And you have the numbers so you can tell which number it is in the fleet. Well, let's just go with that rather than um, mess around with any more. Internal design. Big oil cap can't see where's this big oil can can you see a big oil oh there ah oh right big oil can emma oh, hanging on there look <laughs> that's really cool you can't get any closer to see them that's really awesome where's the bag someone's oh bag there's a dinner bag a crib bag in in behind the seat there Big oil can and bag. We're going to put all three of them. Of course we are. We wouldn't do anything different. Uh, external design, standard, cab filter, beacon lights, triangle. There's so many options. They've done a lot of... This mod is really good. They've done a lot of work on this. Fuel, standard, capacity plus 30, 60. All right, we'll, we'll just leave the fuel as standard. Don't care about GPS. Colors. Right, so we have got some color options. We don't have all of the color options that we've had otherwise. Uh, I'm going to go with orange on there. Cabin color is going to be... No. Ooh. Maybe black. Mm, so many choices. So many decisions. Uh, facing color. Oh, that's the bit on the front. I see. Yep. Yeah. Right. That can go. Yes, it's 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 difficult to 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 know what we're gonna go with. It. I I think we'll go with kind of a silvery color on that one, and then the decal color on the side. That's gonna be yellow to sort of stand out a little bit. Uh, the rim color on there will go. That one can be white so that we've got... The, that's about as close as we're going to get to white wall tires, I think, which I, I rather like the idea of. And jet black or black. Let's go with jet black on that bit on the front. I think that's about as hideous as we can get with the limited color palette that we've got. I like it. The face only a mother could love. There we go. Right. Let's put that one there. So I've, we've now got that one. And then we want to go and we need to get a forage wagon. So I just want one with a large capacity and, and so on. And we had one of those somewhere. Let me find it. Right, there's a Stevie mod there, the Bergman, which will go up to 240 cubic meters, which is pretty good. And also 27k. That is a standard Stevie one. But there's also this one. We've got the TARDIS. You've got the TARDIS medium, which is... 50,000 litres. And then this one was 200,000. So it's almost as much as the Stevie one. It just doesn't go as fast. Uh, so I just wanted to take a quick look at it. It's got lizard branding on the side. It's got the standard colour options instead of the extended ones that we've been um, looking at. And everything else is pretty much the same. So I'm just going to come out of there and I'm going to go down to this one. This is the fast one. 
You've got a standard speed and then you've got 27k one just here. And with that, I can also go and add in a bit more speed. So we can get a fraction under, we can get 37k out of this. I like it. I like this a lot. I decided to go for these color options right here. So we've got a little bit of pink on the side on there. We've got black and yellow for the majority of the rest of the design. And there isn't really, oh, cover. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's put a cover on the top as well. We'll buy that one. It's 137,000 euros. Cheap at half the price. So we now have a couple of things in here. So we've got our shunter. This one's just for using around the yard. Let's see how this thing performs. Oh, that sounds divine. Oh, that sounds amazing! Oh, I love it! I absolutely love it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't I don't know how much we paid for this tractor, but I, I just want to find out because I'm kind of thinking that that might be a good one to have in our regular um, normal sensible series. If the tractor is powerful, what do we got on it? It's like it goes up to 290. Uh, 73,000. That's actually pretty good. I mean, I don't necessarily like that it's articulated steering, but I can live with that. It could this 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 could be something that we could maybe add into our normal um, the the hardcore series. I I don't know. I, I I don't really know. It doesn't really matter at the moment. That's that's not important right now. What we want to do right now is we need to back this thing up onto here, and this is going to be easier said than done because it's an articulated steer and when you've got three axles and you're going over something uneven the pivot point has this unfortunate habit of changing halfway through when you're trying to maneuver and that makes it really really difficult to maneuver anything and also just the fact that the tractor is moving around a bit as well also makes it really, really difficult. See, 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 just, no. Right, you know what? I'm just gonna put that one down there a minute. So we've used the shunter. We, we, we've done what we said we were gonna do. I'm just gonna bring this one over here. That's a glorious tractor. I really like this tractor. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, um, let me just, make some minor adjustments here but we, we, we need to put the load on evenly is that even oh no not 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 even close right we, we, we want to just bring it over this way a little bit let's try that uh Ah, yeah, we, we can spin it round. Here we go. Okay, I think... Nope, that's that's actually leaning over that way a bit. Let's just move you... you right, let's, let's just try that. Let's just try that. And if I come over here, I should be able to strap the thing down. There we go. And then start the lorry up and get the... Which way is it? Ah, there we go. Right. Let's put that one up there. <clears throat> now I need to yeah that's that's not quite even I need to be able to get out of the yard the problem that we've got oh by the way I was told by a number of people that the these bits on the side those bits sticking out there I didn't know what they were they're actually the uh, for the air pressure as basically so that you can keep the tires at the right air pressure all the way through oh no 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 I made I I've made a horrible mistake. I think. Uh Oh, wait, no. I I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Actually, I'm just going to take the straps off this one a minute. Can you I don't know if you've seen it. 
I need to press N. There we go. Right. And customize. Working speed there. Cover, silage, additive tank, main color. That's 49,000. Where's the... Cover, yes. Extension. Ah, silage additive tank. Yes to the additive tank on the front, right there. And then have the extension. Extension 2. And then no. So if you've got the extension, you've also got the additive tank. Right, that's the bit that I didn't have previously. So I'm just going to add that bit in there. Okay, that's done. And uh, it should also be noted that I don't have any silage additive. So we're going to want that as well. So if I just go into here and then I go pallets because it's just a standard pallet. And silage additive is actually something that's worth getting. So we're going to buy that one. Buy. I'm just going to get one because I don't know how much um, it'll take otherwise. And so we'll, we'll have that one and we'll we'll drop that one up on here. And that one we can take with us as well. So there we go. Right now, if I strap all those down. Silage additive. And we've got 240,000 litres of capacity now, which is a whole lot better. So I want to come on all the way out here like this and then turn. I'm get I'm I'm getting I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. One smooth movement all the way out. And then we can go whizzing off up the road. As so long as the, the trailer doesn't tip over or anything. Which is kind of wanting to. You, you you gotta be strong. You cannot let it tip over. We got under the trees. I gotta I you got to be careful of the road sign right there. That one, it, that one can cause problems. And then we get up here, and I'm, I'm going to ignore the trees. I really want to stop and cut down a load of these trees because they're all in the way. We will get to that eventually. That will be something that we do. Now we can just sort of ease our way in around here with our new toy on board. Look at this. This is fantastic. And bring that one in around here like this. And we need to line up so that we can use the braking system. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Carefully planned and everything. And then I can stop there. So if I take the straps off like that. And then I lower that down. Engine off. Job done. We've done it. We, we, we've made it. Now, if I get that pallet there. And this one, I'm just going to bring this one over here a minute. And we'll drop this one down here. And then we can load that up in a minute. So that's that one there ready and waiting. I've got the tractor over here that we want to use. And if I can get out of here. I don't like this silage clamp. I will, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't like this silage clamp. I don't like the wall that we've got in the middle of it. It would be better if this was a bigger silage clamp. But we, we, we can't seem to do very much about that. Because I just, I, I can't maneuver around enough to be able to, like, flatten down the bit in the middle. That's, that's my problem here, is I can't properly compress the silage clamp. I'm going to need to get something to help me with this job, I think. It sort of works. No, we're a bit slow. This thing's very slow going backwards. Let's bring this one up here. And then we get it loaded on. Ideal. Okay, 240. Oh, it's 70 litres. We can have 70 litres. So we did right. We only bought one of these. We did the right thing on there. Let me load that up. That's going to take a minute. Okay, that takes a really long time. We, we get this loaded in a minute. We are loaded up with silage additive. I'm going to leave the cover... Actually, you know, let's take the cover off. There we go. We'll uncover that one. And... I mean, I think this looks... Ab you what? I suppose we can just sort of do it like... I think this looks really cool. I like this setup. I like this. This, this is something that we're going to have some fun with. Let's go now and get started. So we've got 39k that we can do. 
I don't know what Stevie has done with regards to the width of it. It's kind. It, it's it's all right. It's picking everything up. So it, it has got a wide uh, a wide piece on it. Let's let's just test this out a minute. Oh, that's brilliant. Look at that. So it does come out to the side a bit. I'm thinking that maybe we will change this cuz yeah, just be just because like that, that that's something that, that we we might actually change over. So um we're going to pick up this field and then once we've done this, we're then going to go and work on another little project that I'd like to do. First of all, we're going to need some land. I mean, there's a lot of land here, and there's a lot of crops that are, are ready to cut. So we'll be able to sort of make the most of that. We'll, we'll be able to use some of this. Uh, one thing I am going to do in a minute is I'm going to turn around so that we're following the direction that the mower went. So we spin around here like this. I'm curious if we're going to be able to easily get this out and into the silage clamp because that silage clamp is rather small and I don't really know if it's if we're going to be able to fit this in or not like this 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 could be a, a bit of a struggle and because of the way I turn and because I'm just not very good at it I am still missing little bits here and there but that's why I think we need something a bit wider but also I'm I'm thinking that I may not do everything with articulated tractors because I struggle with these they are I don't know why because some some of you tell me that the articulated tractors are actually something that you get on really well with. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so for whatever reason, I don't get on really well with them. I, I do struggle with them, and it's probably because I don't drive them in real life at all. This 37k seems a bit. I don't know. Steady, doesn't it? Especially as we got to go up and down several rows here. Like, I, I, I do feel there's room for improvement with this, but the tractor itself has only got a top speed of 50, so maybe that also needs to be looked at. I've missed a little bit there. We'll, we'll worry about that later. There's, there's several areas for improvement here, aren't there? I mean, this is going to require me tinkering around with a lot more mods, but, uh, ooh, uh, yeah, so I said that there, w there was another little project that I wanted to work on. I've got an idea for something. So... We're going to have cows, and I did briefly mention this. We, we have, we've got cows. Well, we haven't yet, but we will be getting cows. Is why we're making silage. And so we're going to have some cows, and I want to really focus on production options for this series. So I want to get, like, as many of those going as we can. And this field right here is probably where we're going to put most of it. So for future silage and food and that for the cows, we'll be doing it somewhere else. I don't quite know where yet, but it will happen. Um, but I probably won't bother with sheep. I mean, it depends how I can set something up, but I actually rather like the idea of getting all the animals. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.